Hello, welcome to our video covering the area of triangles. We're looking specifically at when we know the base and the height of a triangle. And using the base and the height, we can find the area. We do this by multiplying base times height and then taking that product and dividing it by 2. Of course, you can also interpret this formula in other ways. You could say, well, take the base times it by the height, and then multiply it by a half. Or you could say, take the base, divide it by 2, and then multiply it by the height. Or you could say, base times height over 2, right? The height divided by 2 times the base. Really, though, I think I like to look at it in context of the first formula here. Of course, it's all the same, but I like to multiply my base by my height, and then divide by 2. So how do we do this? Well, here's our first example. Let's, let's call this number one, right? We have three in this video. Here in this triangle, I'm going to call this bottom area the base. And if you can't read it, you probably can't. This is 15 right there. So in this case, the base equals 15. And the height is right here. It's this line, this vertical line going from the base up to this vertex. And you probably can't read that number as well. Sorry, but that's, that's a 10. So in this case, the height is right here, and it's 10. So the finding the area of this triangle is just, well, take 15 times 10, that's the height times the base times the height. That gives us 150, right? Base times height is 150. And then you want to take that 150 and divide it by 2, which gives you 75. Now that's the area. If it's in centimeters, it would be square centimeters, but we don't know what it is here. So we can say units, right, whatever unit it is, squared or square units. Now again, this goes back to the idea that this triangle, right, you can think of it as half of a rectangle or square. So if we find the base times the height, we're finding the area of this full square. Divided by 2, right, this triangle, oops, this triangle is half of that square. That's the idea behind this formula. And it applies to any triangle, like these two right here. This triangle might be even easier to see because here, right, if we had to draw the the rectangle, let me use a different tool there. If we're going to draw the rectangle here now, extend it like this. So there we have a full rectangle, right? And in this triangle, again, the, the base is 10. And again, the height is, height is 5. So in this case, um, actually, I'm sorry, the base wasn't 10 last time, but now it's 10 and the height's 5. We'll call this number 2 here. To find this area, we take 10 times 5 to get 50, and then we divide that by 2 to get 25, because this triangle is half the area of that rectangle. And to find, you know, to find the area of that rectangle, we just do 10 times 5, and we would be done. Here in this last one, the rectangle is a little bit more difficult to, to picture, but we can cut this triangle up and move some pieces around to form a rectangle. I'll leave that to you for fun. Um, here, though, <clears throat> I'm going to point out the height is 4.9, and the base right here is equal to 10. So with this kind of a triangle, when, the, when the, the height is not really here or here, but you can measure it from top to bottom using an outside line, we just include, of course, the base that's on the triangle. So don't be tempted to think of this dropping red line right here. Let me, let me clear this off for a second. So you can see, so there's, there's a red line right here, and that line is just saying that's the height, right? The distance from the base to the top of the triangle is the height. So in this case, the height's 4.9, but it's not part of the triangle. So we don't include this piece right here as part of the base. For the base, we just include this chunk right here, and, that, and that's 10. So the base is 10, and as we just said, the height is 4.9, so we take 10, Multiply it by 4.9, and we get 49. Divide 49 in, in half to get our area. And, and what is 49 divided by, by 2? Well, you know, 25 times 2 is 50, so 24 times 2 is, is 48. But, but there's, you know, 2 goes into 49, 24, and 1 half times. So here, the answer is 24 and a half for the area. So basically, the, the strategy, when, you're know, when you know a base and a height, just take the base, multiply it by the height, and then divide by 2. It's a very nice and, and efficient way of finding the area of a triangle. Thanks a lot.